since java is an object oriented language and most of the object oriented language suppose the concept of classes hence let's get introduced to java classes the classes in java are nearly same as the classes which exist in c++ in which we make use of classes as a blueprint generally a class acts as a template using which objects are derived so we can say in very simple words as the diagram of this particular car as a class since this diagram is just a sketch or a template of the actual car which will be made now from this image we can make many different cars as you can see we have car number 1 and car number 2 and all of them are derived from this particular class but each of these cars which we created using this blueprint is known as object because this object occupies space within the memory and each of them will have the properties furnished as with respect to the color of the car or with respect to the number of tires present or with respect to the light present so each of this will give the values for the properties which is owned by the class so in simple words i can say class is a blueprint or a template while the actual objects makes use of this blueprint making use of the concept of classes gives us various properties of object orientedness like encapsulation abstraction inheritance and polymorphism as well as it gives us a template based design we already discussed about the template based design so i will not touch across this again while there are other important object oriented features to be discussed like encapsulation and abstraction but to understand this object oriented features we have to first understand how to create class within java objects are created in java with the help of the new keyword new is a keyword which is generally associated while creating objects in java we have created a plain java project with name classes eg within which we have a package com.qspawn.class intro now what is this package what is the use of this we will see in more detail whenever we go for the packages concept now within this we just created a new class and i gave the name of the class as car and after doing which i can click on this finish button on doing a car gets created now within the public class car i am adding some properties or some variables within this particular class that is number of wheels number of doors color and so on we have created some methods like get color which returns me the color of this car and set color which allows me to set the color of this particular car and so on now if you see the class carefully you will be able to see that this car acts as a template since all the car in the world is going to have number of wheels and number of doors as well as all the cars will also have a color so this represents all the cars which is present within this particular world in terms of representation a car like mercedes will also have number of wheels where it might be four and number of doors as again four and color can be either black or white when i say we create a instance or we create an object of this particular class we will set the values 
for all these variables. And once I set the values of all these variables, then the object is created, which represents a particular entity having some values for these properties. So let's see how it can be done in Java. So within the main class, which we created, we have the start, start public static void main, which is the starting point of Java, which takes string arguments. And within this, I'm writing a statement like this, car car equals new car. And we just now discussed anything with respect to new is actually creating an object. Now let's try to analyze the statement which we wrote within our Eclipse environment. We told car car equals new car. Now the car here says the type of this particular reference. The car is known as reference and this new car represents an object. As I told you, whenever we create an object, it occupies memory and hence this object will occupy memory it will contain number of wheels, number of in, uh, doors and other properties which we saw within the car class. And we can assign values or change values of this particular property. So this new car creates an object within the memory. And this car which we use as a reference for that particular object. It is by using the reference we will be able to invoke any methods in this particular car object as well as we can assess or change the variables, values of the variables as and when required. Now I have given you a set of code using which we have to analyze what will be the output. So we have car car equals new car. I set the color of car as red. Then I say car equals new car and I set the color as green. Now when I do car dot get color, what will be the color which will be printed as output? Now the color as you can see from this code will be either red or green. But now we have to analyze as per the logic which we studied about reference and object. As you can see, this car car stands for the reference, which is pointing to an object of new car, which will occupy memory and we set the color as red. Now, when we write this statement, car equals new car, we are causing the reference to stop pointing to our earlier object and the reference will now hold an actual reference to this new car object, which we created and we are setting the color of this new car as green. As a result, when we say car dot get color, it will return me the color green. Since this car, which we created, points to this new object in which we set the color as green. This slide will make this topic very clear. As you can see, when I said car car equals new car, and when I set the car dot set color as red. This small car stood for our reference. And this is the actual object which occupies memory. And you, as you can see, even though the color is not actually red, it is somewhat near red or pinkish in nature. Now, when we said car equals new car, a new car is created and the color is set as green. So as you can see, this reference is now pointing to the new object while the earlier reference the earlier value of this reference, which was old, is lost since this object is present separately in memory and the green car object is present separately in memory and the car reference, which was earlier pointing to this red car is now pointing to green car. Hence, we will get the car dot get color as green and not as red. This earlier red car, which we created is not referred by anyone since this car reference which it add is lost to this new green car and hence it is not reachable by any of the references 
Hence, it's quite possible this object becomes garbage collected as per the mechanism of Java. So, a same reference can be used to refer to different objects within Java. Next, let's see how inheritance is supported in Java. 